Hey, good morning, fish heads. It is another day with a workshop update, and we've got a lot to get through, so let's get right to it. First up, we have this pickerel pattern in a wake bait. Very common little creature you're gonna see this time of year, and a lot of your rivers, uh, some lakes have further north you go, but um, we have a lot of them in our Gen Clear water rivers right here in Arkansas. But this little guy, it's got those really cool green trim, red pupil eyes, bright orange belly, and the pickerel pattern with a little bit of gold dust up top. Good fade. Bunch of stuff going out today. This is a Southwater Gill in a 120 SP. Glacier pattern, very simple, very effective. As you get on more towards winter, you're going to see a lot more patterns uh, requested with red in them. This is something that I haven't done in a while, but it was a special request for a customer. It's, it's actually in addition to an, an existing order. This is the Peacock, and this is the Butterfly Edition. Butterflies are much more yellowish red, green up top, that moss green on the back. And you're a Peacock. This is all freehand stencil. The Olive Crawl, the holographic pattern. A little bit of bruising. That dark fall color on the belly. Almost a rust red fade. Supreme Rainbow. Dark modeled up top. Got that pink little burnt sienna on the belly. This is one of my new faves. This is actually on a Berkeley Digger. It's that 8.5 roughly. It'll run to about 9 if you're using heavier fluorocarbon on your line. But you have the, uh, the 3D layering effect into the skin. That shell armor plate. And when I usually, uh, at a customer's request, if I'm doing something that is original, I try and make sure that they know that I'm not giving them anything that's not an original bait. Let's see the other side of that. These are just coming off the uh, clear coat rack. We've got a couple of these really cool champagne IU. Red eyes. Also have a gray ghost. Got the deep cherry chrome red eyes. This is also a reverse pattern where you spray the black first and then layer in the white and gray. And it gets that red on this particular pattern. Wounded minnow. Lots of fun to do. It's got some copper on the top. Very transparent, translucent, clear body. It's just a little bit of black on the tip. Fading up into yellow. Black eyes on that Dinger S. This is an Ozark Autumn Gill. Also a customer request. And all of these are available. Actually, I'm going to say 90% of these are available online at www.jekyllbaits.com. Ooh, we've got more. Spring Fever. A little bit of glitter on top. And a little John. Fade down to a pineapple on the belly. And the Calico Crappie. A favorite pattern this time of year. This is a bright gill and a twitch sticks. Jekyll bait special. It's three and a half inches long. Floats, rips down. It's it's very similar. This this blank is very similar to the uh, Smithwick. 
And there is the last spray session. Complete in package and ready to get shipped out. That is the Fall Madness camo pattern. Love this pattern, love this pattern. Good fish catcher too. Couple more in the background there. You can see those. This is that deep red crawl. It's got a little bit of orange on one side and that real deep red on the other. Bunch of layering on that. This is a little bit more of a challenge and a pattern to get accomplished, especially if you want that white under layer. On the man's baby one minus. This is going out the door. I think I showed you this last time. Also a really cool pattern. Same on this in the 2.5 square bill instead of the wake bait. Awesome pattern. Love these things. And the large eyed minnow and the Jekyll Twitch Sticks. And there you have it, folks. It's gonna be a busy week. Sending thoughts and prayers and hugs and smiles out to everybody on the East Coast that may potentially be affected by this monster hurricane that's turning out there. My mom is among the potentially affected folks, as are all my friends back in Norfolk and Virginia Beach. A special shout out to John Kellett. Uh, at Kirby Creek Customs. Uh, I hope you and your family are well and you are devising a plan to get on out of there. So, love you guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. And happy casting. Come, we'll never know You stand up